Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for January 15th through January 21st. Now, this may not resonate with you because it's not a private reading. Just take what does and leave the rest. This is for sun, moon, and rising, okay? And um, this right here is my Ask Angels deck, okay? So we're not going to reveal this card right now. But what I want you to do is ask a question, a yes or no question, okay? So just think about it. Think about your question for this week. This is for or whatever you watch it, really, okay? But this is intended for January 15th through January 21st, but then again, this is for whenever you watch it, okay? Or whenever it resonates. At this time, you should be thinking of a question. If you uh, change your question throughout the reading, so be it. At the end of the reading, this card will be revealed, and it's usually a yes or no answer, okay? So this is for Aquarius. Be thinking of the question that you would like to have answered. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. We are going to combine the general with the laws and see what comes up. It's just easier for me that way. Thinking about the past, perhaps. You may be thinking about the past. There may be some memories that are coming up. Or there may be an upcoming reunion. Maybe you've been expecting this to happen, perhaps. There's definitely a feeling of you've been prepared. Or maybe you've just been... Uh, in denial over something. I'm not sure. Not realizing the truth of something. Not realizing. It's like it's some. there's been a hindrance. Some kind of hindrance in your life. Luckily, we do have a new path right in front of you. It's like a new door is opening. You are starting to see that there is something more. Patience is a virtue, huh? Yeah. Your patience is paying off, all right? It looks like uh, you've, been, you've been being tested, okay? It's like you've been being tested. Your, your patience, your will, your everything has been tested. Um, interesting, huh? You've been planning. You've been in the mode of planning. What, what road am I going to go down? You haven't been happy, and that's why you've been thinking about the past. That's why you've been um, trying to decide which road to take. You have not been happy. It's like I've, you've been in a spot of um, unknowing, you know. I know that, like I, and I'm thinking to my last reading here that I did, you know there's more to life than this, and you've been waiting for your ship to come in, but it hasn't been coming. That's what the hindrance is. It's like... I mean, your patience is starting to wear thin. It's like you're sick of it. You're sick of it. I'm not going, I can't keep going down this road anymore. It's like I've been, the, the procrastination, it's like it's almost over. I can't, I'm sick of this procrastinating um, somebody's procrastinating, whether it's you or the person you're waiting for. It's like you're waiting for somebody from your past or from your childhood to come sweep you off your feet or something like that, and you've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and it looks like this person isn't coming, or you've been waiting for the perfect moment for you to take the step, and you haven't been able to do that. You haven't, you just haven't been able to make the change or make the decision to take the step, but it's time to take the next step. It is. Um, your patience, like I said, your patience is wearing thin. It's like, I've been patient, and I'm sick of being patient, and 
I am ready now and I've waited a really long time for this really um, you've had that you've had this ultimate restraint and you've come to a period where I'm not sure how much longer I can wait um, you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn you could be dealing with a Sagittarius Aries or Leo um, let me make sure that this is focused in There's a lot of focus on finances here, okay? Somebody somebody is very focused on their security, their stability, um, and career advancement. Who have somebody that's watching this, or they're just trying to advance um, in any way, okay? Somebody is looking for advancement. Um, but it feels like there's some overindulgence here. Somebody is overindulging. Maybe they're overspending. And now they're trying to recuperate from that. Um, it looks like so, some something is definitely out of balance. And it's causing you to think about going down a new path. Going down a new road. Uh, you know, there could be a new business venture, you know, that you've been contemplating and you've been waiting to, for the the right, you've been waiting for somebody to contact you to tell you if it's a yes or a no, you know, whether you've got the job or whether you should go this way or whether you should go that way. Um, you should, you could be getting that answer this week, um, getting that, uh, financial security that you've been looking for in, in a job, you know, maybe they're saying yes, Yes, you know, the answer is yes to whatever that question is. It feels like I see that it's the end of difficult times. I think that if you guys have been in a period of um, feeling like you were going nowhere, you know, feeling like you were going nowhere or feeling like you weren't going to get that job or you weren't going to get that advancement or you weren't going to get that raise. I think that's over. Okay. Cause I think I see you moving up. I see you going up, you know, instead of being at the bottom, moving up a little bit. Okay. So if you felt like you were at the bottom, it doesn't feel like you're at the bottom anymore. Okay. It feels like, um, You're being seen as very practical. You're being very, you are being seen as a very steadfast and a very hard worker. So if you have any doubt in your mind, I am here to tell you that you are seen as very, very um, intelligent, intellectual, um, practical, uh, grounded. I mean, there's a lot of great attributes here, and they are being shown very, very well. Um, and I feel like some responsibilities are being lifted from you, some burdens of some sort that are allowing you to focus on more of a leadership role. You know, I feel like you are headed towards some kind of leadership. I'm not sure where this is coming from. For somebody, it feels like there's some kind of a new leadership in their life, whether it's you or somebody you're dealing with or whatnot, or you're being looked at to be some kind of leader. Uh, it feels like there's a lot of business sense here. Somebody has a lot of business sense. Somebody may be considering starting their own business, and if that's you, if you're the one that is that's watching this that is considering starting your own business, it's definitely saying yes. Okay, it's saying that you have the skills, the knowledge, the mindset to do it. Okay, so if that's the question, the answer is yes. We're going to move on to love. Um, and it feels like you've been procrastinating, waiting for the right time to make this move, to to go down this new path. And if, and if it does have to do with work, then I would say absolutely now is the time that you have the ability to do that and succeed. Now we're going to talk about love. What do you got for love?
it feels like um, you guys are making a conscious a conscious change, a big one. You know, you're making a change, and it's a good one. It's make, bringing you stability and security, this change that you're making, because you've been unhappy. You've been unhappy. So there could be a, definitely a job change here. Now, this is about love. You may feel withdrawn from your current partner. You may feel like uh, somebody is very cold-hearted in your situation. They're not communicating. They're not wanting love. They're not um, wanting to start anything new with you. You know, they're feeling kind of, um, what's the word? It feels like you're in a situation with somebody where they don't have any energy. They don't have any care. They're not showing you any love. You know, that kind of thing. And you've come to the point where you're ready to cut them right out of your life. It's like, if you're not if you're not going to communicate with me, if you can't communicate about anything, you know, and if you think it's always me, then I'm just going to have to say goodbye. You know what I mean? It feels like you are kind of getting ready to cut somebody out of your life. Now, it feels like it's, and the reason is, is because it's time for you to love yourself. It's time, of, it's a time of renewal. If somebody that is watching this is going through a rebirth. Okay, they're going through a transformation. I don't know who it is, but somebody's going through a transformation and they're cutting out somebody who doesn't want, is on the same spiritual path as them, isn't on the same um, level, you know. You're cutting out somebody who doesn't want to commit, somebody who has a fear of commitment, somebody who has a fear of um, attachment, <coughs> you know. So it feels like you are using your sword to cut the cord okay because you don't want to be controlled you don't want to be manipulated you don't want to be used you don't care what society thinks anymore um and you're and you're ready to honor yourself and love yourself fully it feels like it's definitely a time of renewal and inspiration and growth and fertility for somebody that is watching this Somebody, even if you're young, I mean, you could get pregnant. So if you're not wanting to get pregnant, then I would be careful about that. Um, you could be dealing with Aries. You could be dealing with a um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <coughs> you have all the signs here. So you do. You have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and um, the, the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you have all the signs here. But I do need to remind you that this is, it appears to me that you guys are loving yourselves more than ever. And you're ready for a new beginning. And you're ready to um, show the world how much compassion you have for yourself and for others. I feel like you are being your own advocate this week and it's about time. Your beauty is shining. You are glowing. You are radiating love. And I think that um, it's a time of creativity and fertility for you, whereas you are starting something new and, and releasing the old. That's what I see. I think you're cutting somebody out of your life that was very cold-hearted. I don't know who that's for, but somebody is cutting somebody out of their lives that is, was cold-hearted and didn't know how to communicate. And did not want to attach completely. Um, you've decided, you know what, I put all the in, in all the effort that I can put in. And there's no more growth. It's like, you don't want to give, then, you know, whatever. If you don't want to give, then I'm not sure I can give either. You know, I don't want to give to somebody who's not going to give back. It feels like somebody, you you have been with somebody who was just with you for you to take care of them. They were looking for you to mother them and take care of them. And, and now that you're starting to open your eyes and love yourself more, they've turned cold. Ooh, interesting. You still thinking of that question? 
because we're going to get to it soon. The first card is playfulness. And this is what's happening here, is you are starting to come back. Your sense of who you were in the past is starting to come back. This is exactly what's happening. You, Your old self, the old you, you know, when you were happy and you were in love and you were being loved, that's coming back. And so you're wanting to be playful. And you're starting to love yourself. You're starting to feel like you want to offer your love to others and you want to get it back like you had so long ago. Interesting. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. I mean, that card says it all. And that's exactly, I believe, what many of you are doing. And that's where your patience is starting to wear thin. It's like, I've been waiting forever. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And, and you know, it feels like you've been waiting and you've been very patient. But I also see here that you guys are starting to take things into your own hands. So I think this card is kind of contradictory because... Well, it's not. It's not. Because this is what you're doing. You've been letting things unfold naturally. But you're getting sick of it. <laughs> That's what I see. It's like, can you hurry up? Just please. I'd like this to be over with. Um, that kind. That's what I feel. Um, I'm going to read this world card. Expansion. Opening up. The man in this picture is looking out over a bay above which the beautiful sphere of the earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision and contemplate some much broader options. I do see this too. Perhaps in your career and in your love life. I see big changes on the horizon for you, Aquarius. The world is wide, so there's a lot out there to consider. And that is exactly what's going on here. You're considering your options. And you've been waiting for it to unfold naturally. And I think you've come to a point where it's like, if this, things don't start to move a little bit faster, I'm going to have to do something about this. In the modern age of technology, this card could specifically be, re be referring to creating or expanding to a more global network through the internet or social marketing. Drawing this card also, also lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you. And now is the time to think big. Oh, this goes back to the beginning of the reading when I was telling you about if you wanted to start your own business. You definitely have the potential. As they say, the world is your oyster, so get ready to gobble it up. You know, when this card also shows up, there's... there's a new beginning and that's what I see many of you are starting something new it's a period of renewal it's a period of um, rebirth okay many of you are going through a transformation and you're cutting out the old and this week is about the beginning okay taking the next step Let's get back to your card. Let's get back to your question, should I say. What's your what's your question? Do you have it? Are you ready? You ready? You ready for the answer to your question, Aquarius? Within the next few months, Your wish, whatever it is, you should get the answer within the next few months. Maybe that's when things step it up a notch. Maybe that's when your ships finally come in. Maybe that's when this 
when the hard work that you've put into all this having patience and letting things play out pays off within the next few months. Whatever it is, the answer to your question within the next few months. I am going to read it to you because I want to. In the next few months, what you are asking for will occur. Divine timing means that other people's free will choices are also involved. So keep the faith while all of the pieces of this puzzle come together and the situation resolves itself beautifully. Beautiful. It's true. That's why, that's why you've had to have so much patience and you've been waiting for things to unfold naturally. But I think you're coming to a point where you, your patience is wearing thin and you're growing weary and you're about to just cut the cord and say, I have to do this. I have to. This, is, this reading is basically telling me that you're on the right track. Take the next step. Keep going. Take baby steps, baby steps to get there. Within the next few months, it will all come together and come to that point where <coughs> this new beginning starts, okay? <coughs> So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I will talk to you later.